My name is Tori Samples and I am a Senior Product Manager at the Stellar Development Foundation. My role is to lead our humanitarian products and bulk payments. I started when we just had Stellar Aid Assist as a program and have been so excited to build that out into a full product, the Stellar Disbursement Platform, that can be used for any sort of bulk payments or payouts around the world. The Stellar Disbursement Platform is a bulk payments tool. It allows organizations to send money to multiple individuals at once in the asset of their choice on Stellar. The Stellar Disbursement Platform is the product behind Stellar Aid Assist. So the Stellar Disbursement Platform itself is use case agnostic, asset agnostic, geography agnostic. But Stellar Aid Assist is for aid agencies and organizations working in the humanitarian world that might need more than just an open source product. We're here to support them. We're here to help them implement that to make sure that it works for them and for their receivers and for their programs. If you look at aid payments, the flow of funds is the same as basically any other bulk payments in the world. So whether that's payroll, paying employees, contractors, freelancers, gig workers, or whether it's government programs, that could be stimulus checks or tax refunds or social welfare programs, all of those come down to an organization paying multiple individuals at once. That's what happens in the aid flows, that's what happens all around the world every day. But it's still incredibly challenging. Uh, those payments tend to be slow and expensive and not traceable and transparent. The legacy financial system disproportionately affects those people and the organizations that are trying to help them and pay them. And so what we realized is that we have a global set of rails with the Stellar Network that supports these types of payments for people who can't get a bank account, for people who need to take their money with them if they have to leave their country, and for people who are typically excluded from the formal financial system. So when we saw how the money was actually moving, we realized that we would be able to take what we built for Ukraine and expand that into literally any, any time an organization needs to send money to multiple individuals at once. In line with the Stellar Network being an open platform that anyone can use, we also want our products to be open to the world. We believe strongly in open source as an ethos, that people should be able to use this software for free, that they should be able to customize it to meet their needs. And so when we started rebuilding what became the Stellar Disbursement Platform, we knew that that was the end goal. We know that there are challenges uh, that are unique to particular environments, and so we wanted people to have the control to be able to customize that for their own context um, and, and to make it work for them. We also know that the organizations who are using these tools this tends to be their first use of blockchain or crypto, and so we have to make it very accessible to them. It's their programs, their money, their data, and so SDF couldn't have any part in that. We have to make the technology available to them, but we can't be in any sort of controlling role. And so we make it available to them, we help them, we support them to set it up, and then it's completely theirs and under their control. The Stellar Disbursement Platform unlocks an easy, seamless way to be paid that brings potentially marginalized communities into the formal financial system. It gives them the freedom and the access to use best-in-class technology when they typically haven't had the ability to do that. And for organizations, it brings them into the modern age of payments. It allows them to capitalize on the benefits of blockchain without sacrificing any of the requirements that they have to transact in the formal legacy financial system. Stellar has proven itself to be a, a mature partner for governments, for regulators, for traditional financial companies. We've proven that we can stand in this space and we've made a name for ourselves that can be trusted by organizations and enterprises that can't afford to work with a new startup or someone on the very edge of crypto. The product itself is complete pretty much at this point, so we're always refining and adding new features and tinkering with it, but it's out there. It's open sourced as of August of 2023, and so we are at this point now mostly supporting deployments of that. We're here to help, whether it's governments, aid agencies, or businesses that want to use the SDP. 
we welcome developer contributions to the open source SDP tool. So anyone can go online, look at the code. We have open issues that you can help with and get involved and know that your work is impacting people literally all across the world who are in need and organizations that are working to help them. So for developers, there's a very clear call to action. We want you engaged. Organizations that send any form of bulk payments, we would love your feedback on this tool. It's still fairly new, which means that there's a lot of room for it to be customized and still, and still some room for improvement. So go check it out, get in touch with our partnerships team, and let us know how we can make this work for you.